Hi guys, welcome! Today I'm super proud to introduce this brand new equipment produced from Biotech Milan. I'm talking about Maestro. Ta -da! <laughs> Maestro represents the new era and new generation of permanent makeup equipments into the industry. This is the result of three years of research and development and we have created it by listening to the needs of all of you, all the professionals. We have listened to what you wanted and we have created the equipment of your dreams. This machine is so special because he is already equipped with the highest technology but also with two hand pieces here. One is going to be a soft one, so it's going to be Maestro soft and one Maestro strong. With these two hand pieces you will be able to achieve all the beautiful results on all the type of skins and it's all in one machine. Not just because you can work on any type of skin but you can do aesthetic procedures like eyebrows, eyes, lips, but you also can do medical procedures, scalp pigmentation, uh, bio revitalization, bio needling, uh, vitiligo or any type of line and shading. Let me introduce you a little bit the features that make this beauty here absolutely unique into the permanent makeup industry. Okay, so let's see the content of our Maestro device kit. First of all, the intelligent control unit, already pre-equipped with over 60 different menus. This intelligent computer has a surface of a temperate glass and a touch screen menu with a LCD color display. So of course we want to protect our high technology, so we have designed a case that will allow you to carry it around still safe and protected. Then we have the two hand pieces, the Maestro Strong and the Maestro Soft. The hand piece Strong is ideal for lines, so for example hair by hair, eyeliner, graphic eyeliner, um, scalp pigmentation, while the Maestro Soft is ideal for shadings and for delicate skins. So you can achieve all the beautiful results like lips, shaded lips, shaded eyebrows, shaded eyeliner, scar camouflage and areola. Then we have the wireless pedal, the pedal without any cable. This pedal will allow you to turn your machine on and off freely with extreme comfort without worrying about getting stuck with all the cables around. And then in the last box we have some cable to connect your control unit to the electricity and your handpiece to the control unit. In the pocket of the case you can find the manual with instructions and a useful shoulder strap to carry around with you your Maestro case during your working days. And we are ready to set our Maestro device. First, let's remove the handpiece from the magnetic surface. Now we can plug the power control unit to the electricity. Every Maestro device will be already equipped with the right power plug adapted and compatible to your country local power plug system. So our staff will make it ready for you to use as soon as you get it. Because this part is, can be changed and adapted. Now, we are, since we are in Italy, let's use the European power plug. The other part needs to be connected to your intelligent control unit. Turn it at the side and connect this part with the first output in which is written power supply. The next two exits are designed to connect your handpieces, so either your Maestro strong and soft. 
and the last split is designed to insert a SIM card. This SIM card will enlarge the memory of your intelligent computer or either will enable some special menus, for example, the bioneedling stimulation menu. Now let's connect our Maestro device to the electricity. Plug the plug into the electricity. This is your first graphic of Maestro and will stay stand like this till you will select one of the preset menus that you can find on the surface of your keyboard. As you can see, eyes, lips, eyebrows and medical treatments are there. Now let's connect the handpiece. The metal part of the cable needs to be connected to the bottom of your handpiece. Push it in firmly till you hear clack. Now we can connect the handpiece with either the exit 1 or 2. It doesn't really matter because both exits deliver the same voltage. So feel free to connect your handpiece Maestro Soft or Maestro Strong to either the exit 1 or exit 2. Today we're going to choose exit 1. Now you can place your handpiece on the surface, on the glass surface of your Maestro device where we have placed a magnetic support to hold your pen during the treatment in a very comfortable way. Let's start selecting one of the menus, for example, the eye. Eye treatments, the first menu indicates the type of treatment that you want to do on your client. You can move up and down in the menu by using the arrows up and down. So first select the treatment, for example infra lashes, graphic eyeliner or shaded eyeliner, and then select your choice by pressing the V. The second menu will indicate the type of skin of your client. You can select the normal skin, mature skin or delicate skin and once again move up and down with the arrows. Now this is your ready to start graphic. All the Maestro equipment leave our laboratories preset in Italian language. But if you'd like to change this setting Simply press setting icon and the first option modifies the language. So just press the V to convert all your menus in English permanently. The Maestro is going to save this setting into his software till the next time you will choose to modify it. So now let's see a different menu in English, for example lips. Once again, the first menu indicates the type of procedure, for example, contour, light shading, intense shading or filling. Move up and down and select your choice with the V. The second menu indicates the type of mucosa of your client, so the type of skin. Select it again with the V. Here indicated you find a dashboard. This part is a sort of recap of your settings. For example, now we are in the eyebrow menu and as you can see in the dashboard, you see the icon of the eyebrow and then next to it, you find the type of treatment that we're going to do, which is selected now, which is hair by hair. And if you move up and down in the menu with the arrows, also the dashboard will automatically change. For example, now we are on pixel shading and even in the dashboard is reported pixel shading. If you select also the type of skin, this parameter will be shown in your dashboard as well. You can select the type of handpiece you're using. For example, now, since we are on the output one, the correct demograph is selected. If you want to change it, just press it and it will go automatically on output 2 and return to output 1. 
This is your starting ready to go position. Eyebrows, pixel shading, delicate skin, and we're about to use hand piece one. Now let's see some additional menus for the medical treatments such as areola, scar, vitiligo, scalp pigmentation. Just think that your Maestro device is already pre-equipped with over 60 different menus that will allow you to work on every type of treatment in the dermapigmentation field. Once again, even in these menus, once you confirm your choice, you will have some additional menus inside of each one that will allow you to select the type of procedure you're about to execute. Now we are ready to use our handpiece. As you can see, there are two bars. The first one indicates the speed. The speed that we recommend to you for this type of treatment on this type of skin is 6.0, but you can adjust the speed by increasing it or decreasing it by pushing the arrows up and down. So you can modify the speed by staying into the menus you do not need to leave the menu and go into the manual mode to change the speed. Your Maestro device has a speed that goes up to 7.5 maximum and low to 5.0 minimum speed. The second bar indicates the pressure. This parameter cannot be modified by you, but it's automatic. So your intelligent control unit has a double processor that will be able to show you the resistance of the skin and therefore the pressure that the needle is applying to be able to penetrate that type of skin. By looking at this bar while you're working, you can see if your handpiece is applying a little bit too much pressure and therefore you're working a little bit too low in the dermis, so you're pushing a little bit too much, or if you're being too delicate. If you press the icon with the hand, you will go into the manual mode and you can select the speed up and down, up to your wishes. Let's connect the hygienic disposable modules on the handpiece. We call them, in technical language, cartridges. So these modules contain inside the needle that you will use during your treatment. As you can see, they have a locking mechanism in a screw mode. This will make the cartridge fit on the handpiece in a very stable way, reducing all types of vibrations. Now press the button play and pause to turn on your machine. You can adapt the speed by pressing the arrows up and down. By turning this part, you can adjust the needle length up to your wishes. Your Maestro device has a needle range length that goes from 1 mm up to 5 mm. This part here, it's a tiny little line that will help you to indicate once you have completed one full circle so that it will be easier for you to tell exactly what exit of the needle you want to achieve. Furthermore, we have created some engraved circles on the body of the pen. For each circle, it means that the needle will be more in or more out of one millimeter. And the last but not the least, the wireless pedal. The pedal without any cable that we have designed to let you work freely during your procedures. Basically, the pedal is already pre-equipped with a rechargeable battery. So this battery can be recharged by using the same cable that brings electricity to your intelligent control unit. It's very comfy. And the pedal has the function of turning on and off your pen while you're working. So simply press the pedal to start the motor of your handpiece and re-press the pedal to pause the motor of your handpiece. 
When the machine leaves our biotech laboratories, the pedal and your control unit are already pre-matched to work with each other. But in case you would ever experience any problem with your pedal and you would need to send it to the assistance, then you should go into the setting menu and select remove a foot switch. Then send your pedal to the assistance, we will repair and send you a brand new one. So when you receive the new one, you will need to match this foot pedal with your control unit. So go again into the setting and press match foot switch. Confirm your choice by pressing the V. Then now it's time to connect both of them. So while you have pressed the V, at the same time, make sure to press the pedal a couple of times and leave the pedal close to the control unit for a few seconds. And voila, your Maestro console is ready to use. That's it for today. Thank you for following us. And if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. We'll get back to you. Bye.